probably up here. He's allowed to play off, puts the shot away. Oh. It's just another super goal. I cannot believe what I have just seen. Welcome back, everybody. Pitch side. England have won this one 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, they have completed the greatest of comebacks. <laughs> Callum Hoover. Godfrey Callum. We're very attacking. I love it. I love watching everybody go forward. We really like possess the ball and find the perfect opportunities to attack and really break down their defense. It just lets us open up the field and create opportunities that are fun for the players and fun for the coaches. Make sure everything that you guys are doing is a positive thing. You don't get on each other. You don't get on your teammates that you don't know. Your body language is huge. Boarding here at the house we have, it's, it's been extremely fun. It's really helped me to grow as a person being in this new environment. Everybody here loves soccer. Everybody loves to play, watch the game as well. From there, it helps you ease into the school environment because now you're around like-minded people. I'm with these guys day in, day out, the same 30 kids I see every day. So we really, we're like a family out there. We're brothers on the field, brothers in the classroom. So I can come up to any of these guys, ask them for help, and they'll help me immediately. There's no hesitation. Like, we're all really connected here, which is awesome. We're all brothers. Here at the academy, I like how you can go at your own pace for the education. Compared to public schools, you just go at the pace that the teacher sets, even if it isn't the right pace for you. But here, I can go at the pace that's perfect for myself. Being at Malaga really shapes my life's actions, and that's something I wouldn't learn anywhere else, and I'm really going to be in good shape for the rest of my life. We're going to go to Europe and get experience against the best players on the planet, which are European players, and <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm psyched for it, and the education in Spain is going to be great as well. We're going to be taking a Spanish culture class and also the Spanish language. This program is awesome. It is what any soccer player could possibly dream of in this country, and more people should be able to enjoy this experience that we have.
Buenos dias, buenas noches, welcome, hello, hello around the world. We are here in Loja for the next version of the CD Almanaco. And look at that, just on time, we are off. Keen as a button. And away we go. So we are in white, going from right to left. And... Do apologise. We are in blue. We are. Nobody tells me these things. So early bit of defending, got to be done there. Mm. Dallaso Del rise over to the back. Great interview the other week with Dallas. I hope you all saw that. And there we go. As always, we want to be saying to you, where are you in the world? And we're saying, talk to us. Hashtag CDAC today. Big love from Loha. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you're up to, where you're watching, what time in the world it is. And remember, we can talk to you in any language. I can't, but good to have Samir moderating, chatting away to you as well. So we won't miss a thing from you. So looking forward to you all coming on there. And already, Rafa Ramos, when is the game? Now, matey. Absolutely now. So don't forget, we want to hear from you. And first little break in play. I'll put the team sheet up. 
Because we, our little, uh, we kicked off early. I'm giving myself this time. I should come on about half hour early just to be clear. It's good running down here. And this is a lovely set in Low Heart. We are 75 miles north. We're on the western tip of Granada. Surrounded by the Sierra de Loja hills. And Rafa Ramos, Max Peterson's best friend from California. Tick box, California already. Early morning over there. What are we there? We are 9 a.m., 9.30 in the morning. Very nice. Good chasing down, good pressure. Oh, flick on there, not quite right. And our man, Johan Le Bois, goes across, picks up Max Peterson. Yeah, look at that, Rafa. What a ball from you, mate. Taylor James. You learn man through. Elias Halpern tapping in from California as well. Let's go, Max. Is Max Peterson the new Pedro Terciotti? Is he the new Sachin de Silva with followers all around the world on the social media? As the ball goes back and Odell collects. He did an Instagram chat the other day with Tobias Carlson who's sitting on the bench and uh, pretty informative stuff there didn't ask the probing questions like you know what do you cook what do you cook for lunch like we had of Ratcliffe the other week yeah and any good night out in Leeds the more interesting probing questions but I'll have a word with Tobias and get him to up his game when it comes to the interviews and Martin Colafell watching from Eswatini go. Sachin, Sachin is on the bench today. And you'll see him on the bench in a minute because that little break in play, I'm going to stick the team up for you. And here is the team. Dallas Odelin's goal, Taylor James, Rio Yamaguchi, Johan Le Bois, Luis Mi Peralta, Max Peterson, Juan Lo Ribas, Eric Ballou, Juliano Manfro, Emmanuel Oganubi, Drew Montero, and on the bench, Gabriel Mendoza, Griffin Freeman, Angelo Madrid, Sterling Watrin, Pedro Terciotti, Satin De Silva, and Tobias Carlson. Woo! This is a good run here. That's Joe Montero pressing early. And AP Gaming is tapping in from New York, FC Malaga City, New York. Excellent to have the boys from the New York FC on board. Brujos. Want to get Manny Aganubi going down the left there. Didn't quite come off for him. He's cleared. We played one Lou there, clearing the lines. So this is first versus second in the, the new second half of the season league. But if I was to tell you that Alminaka are top with 26 points and Medina are second with 27 points, you'd say you're having a laugh, isn't you, Rich? You're having a laugh. No. Uh, and a quick answer, AP Gaming. Is this the under-23? No, this is the senior boys. This is the top dogs. And so, they, yes, we are top of the league, even though we've got less points. So, answers on a postcard. Oh, long range. Odell had to be sharp there. Well played, Dallas there. And suddenly, no pressing on the edge there. Look, giving lots of room as he came inside one loop. And well played there. And big shout at early doors to... On the cameras, Ellie Brett and Braden Miller, because great coverage there on the tight from Ellie and everything you see wide. And this type of stuff here is, oh, and that's Odell. Did lucky, he was a bit lucky there, and he's getting a pat on the back from his lads. Come on, lads, you can do it. Yeah, he got a bit underneath it. It's like when you just, you know, like when you chip onto the ninth green at Augusta, you just get under the ball, it doesn't just quite roll on. That's what that was. Oh, whoa, uh, oh, woo. Nice there. And uh, 
So it makes me think Raya Yamaguchi didn't mean that. <laughs> yes. Ovin Hagen Carlson, greetings from Norway and waiting for Toby entering the pitch. He's on the bench. So, yes, he will be there later. 13 hours, hey! Good to have 13 hours regular on our little chats in swinger. Odol, oh, that much better punch that time. Good height, not quite the distance, but good height. Time for everybody to reset. I'm still a big fan of trying to catch it first, but at the end of the day, he got the ball away that time. And long range. Oh, they fancy this stuff, don't they? Oh, I like that. Just bounces back to you. Look at a nice big scoreboard. I mean, it's not right in the back, but it's a nice set in this. Great little stadium here. Really nice. This, is, this area is full of olive fields and cereal fields. So this, the, this, it's, we're, it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of cereal fields now. And for you at home watching this, that doesn't mean like Rice Krispies and like, you know, and cornflakes and Weetabix. We're talking about the actual cereal before it gets turned into cereals. Full of lovely, interesting churches, if you're into that. So if you're into the uh, asking for the higher echelon society to help you out, this is a nice place to come for it. Nice cross. Oh, I'm lose that. Oh, what an opportunity. In the dusk of the sun, just going down in the background there. It's going to be a... There's Baloo. Oh, just how did he not put that in the back of the net? So that sun, as it dips down, is going to be a bit of a nightmare for the camera crew. But what I do know is they will rise to it. They'll defeat the sun and they won't find it a problem. They won't moan, they won't comment on it, they will just battle through. But then they are in nice 22 degrees, 71 in old money. That's nice and warm here. After uh, offside, early days. And uh, at half time, we've got to make sure they don't pop down to Los Infernos de Loja the natural monument of waterfalls. It's a nice place to picnic, I read, so we don't want them popping off there for a picnic in the waterfalls. So, any ideas why we are first with 26 points and they are second with 27? I've had no replies. I just think it's just one of those questions that nobody knows the answers to. I know, but that's because I'm very clever. Oh, is it a head-to-head -head I've had popped into me? No, because they haven't played each other yet. Somebody just asked now, is it strength of schedule? No, it's not like... Who does that? Which league does that strength of schedule? That's um, NFL on the draft. That's it, yeah. Right, in-swinger again. From well, Medina. Oh! Dallas Adele is... He's lost his confidence a bit at the moment because he came and he got caught underneath underneath that again. Phil Halpern, shout out to Max Peterson from Phil in Barkley, California. Lots of support for Max Peterson. Wait until we start running that man of the match. I think he's going to be right up there. Miranda Sisters. Oh, there's a Miranda Sisters. Let's have the corner first. Oh, it's all the way across. Oh, well, did they not get on the end of that? And it's cleared. Medina come again, it's gone wide. Oh, oh good cross, and it's clear there. Thank God, the, the ball's out, thank God. So I can go, Miranda says the Savannah Breeze and Phoenix Dawn. Hello, from in Bradenton, Florida. Great to have you there on board. And Zibara Kawia watching from Nairobi, Kenya. Let's go, Eric. Every time we mention Kenya, I like to remind everybody of the Machakos Sevens rugby tournament. Highly recommend it. Another live stream we did. 13 hours just chilling and watch the game. Good shot, just wide there. I wasn't phased. I knew Dallas had that all under control. 
Right there, just straight on the edge of the there. And it kind of looked like it was hitting the back of the net, but nope. Dallas knew where that was going all the time. Now up the other end, much better. Ogunibi getting on the end there, but big, heavy touch. Mayor Carol Martin Pedersen, it's let's go! Max Pedersen cheering from Brooklyn, New York. Great to have you all on board today. New York, what's that? Your oh, 5 12. Midday. Midday Saturday, New York. Runs out and that's well defended by Medina. But when Manfro wasn't quite able to get that in. Didn't mention the coach, you see him down here in front of us. Juan Carlos Anon. There is Juan Carlos. Now I'm going to quote this, and I think I'm right in saying he's a UEFA Pro licensed coach I was reading. Long range, speculative, I think is the best one to put that down as. It's one of the nice things, this netting, the ball, you get back really quickly. It's not like the other games, it runs behind and we wait for an eternity. We're getting the ball back and there's no rest. So nobody seems to realise answer my question or answer my little my my query why are we top with 26 and they are bottom second with 27 well it's based on the amount of games that you've played so it's it's points per game so they are 11 teams in this league so here's the interesting thing we will play six of those teams but they will only play five and the reason for that is that we've brought six teams across, they've brought five teams across, so it becomes on points per game, otherwise it wouldn't be fair, because we would have the opportunity to get more points because you only play the teams from the other league. So, it's points per game. How clever is that, eh? The sun eats whey protein before the game, for sure. It is strong, it's beaten down. Don't forget, if you want to be part of this setup, if you want to hear your name rang out by my dulcet tones, fcmalagacity.com is where you go forward slash apply. I'll get Samir to put that on there. So it's malagacity.com forward slash apply or apply at fcmalagacity.com. Harumi Yamaguchi, go CDAC supporting all the team all the way from Japan. Excellent. Remember, Japan, we're, open, we're waiting for the call so we can cover some Olympics for them. I think they'd like our production and our uh, commentary on some in the Olympics. Yeah. I don't know about the client. Uh, what would I'm saying here? What would we like to do? Would we do the football and just brighten it all up for them? Uh, I don't know about the climbing because Johnny Bryan, another commentator of mate of ours, he does the climbing. Didn't want to take his roll out as that goes wide. So Johnny Bryan can stick with the... Um, Climbing, weightlifting them. Yeah, that'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Shooting. I'm trying to think what other what other, other sports are way out there. Oh, I tell you what they're doing. Break dances in it for the first time. Yes, I'll go and do the break dancing. Hey, <laughs> that sounds good. Should ask so what would everybody like what what would you like to see us filming and commentating on in the olympics yeah there's a answers on a postcard please as medina try and get the uh, ball rolling across the back go along with the switch but too big and louis me sees that out successfully Nine nationalities in the team today. 
really is a amazing you know, the United Nations of academies I was debating if I was going to go to League of Nations but realised that there's only a couple of people listening that remembers that you know millennia ago all over the top that's good defending Yamaguchi well played cleared his lines well so we're in California Kenya Florida New York Japan around the globe and I know England is going to come on soon because Taylor James has a big following and they're going to be popping up and when they hear that Pedro Terciotti is on the bench oh can you believe it and Sachin De Silva well we've had a if we had a, a Eswatini yes we have I haven't had that on there Eswatini I forgot to write that on my list Manny through good ball Malou oh too heavy pushed him wide Still got possession though, we come again. Come back inside. Oh, ref. Oh, good ball through though. Oh, what's he come back for? What's he, what's, he, what's he coming back for? Ref, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Ref. Oh, so it's hit you and we've got to play it down and I'm not quite sure I missed that. That seems really weird. We come all the way back for the player to come down. Mm. Martin Colossal, go a little bit. Don't use the blue lines. Yeah. Normally you say don't do something with white lines. Don't go for it. What was that? The song, you know. Oh, no, I won't sing it. Surely it's got to be our ball drop back here. We stop for your player. Okay, so he's just said to him, look, we'll go back with it. And Peterson. Tight there for James. For Johan. He doesn't thread the ball through. Odell comes and clears. And yes, it's in the olive fields and cereal fields of Loja. It has gone into the Sierra de Loja. Well, this, this is the place to come if you want to go caving, hang gliding, Fishing, hiking, or cycling. Although all the lows in 20 degrees seem a little bit sweaty. Good pressure. Oh, it's well played by Medina last week. 1 0 winners against Sako Matril. And we only drew 0 0 when we played them. And as our man Samir says, please don't. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, push the little bell, and then you'll always get a notification when the games come live and you don't have to jump on and say, is this the other 23 games? No, because you'll see it and you'll know and you'll never miss a game. Letitia Pereira, let's go. Max P. Max P has got a lot of following. He's going to win when we do our little poll later. Man of the match. He'll win that just from who's got the most social media. Ball through. Oh, it's there. That Peterson picks up nicely in Manfro. Oh, nice play with Montero and Malou. But Medina clear. So don't forget fcmalagacity.com forward slash apply or email apply at fcmalagacity.com if you want any details about anything to do with it, even if you don't want to recruit, but you want to know questions, you want to answer, queer, you got questions, you want them answered. God, it sounded so good in my head before I said it. Then just get on there and ask a question. And don't forget, I'll tell you now, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have two double headers. 
We're playing a little team in Madrid called Atletico. If you've heard of them, they've done a fair bit recently. Oh, Malou on the edge, he's got a chance, it's fallen. Manny, now Peterson. Oh, a bit a little too high, that one. Unlucky, but they played well in there. Max Peterson. Just see here, Malou. Now, Oganubi plays that really well. And Peterson just leaning back. Always going over from there. Yeah, so Tuesday and Wednesday, we have got a double header. We have got the Feminino and the under-17s are playing Atletico Madrid. And then on Wednesday, the 18s and the 19s are playing Atletico Madrid. And we are bringing you all four of those games on both days live. And so follow social media to get details on that. Massa Peterson, favourable game time for the US fans. Tuning in to see Max Peterson play. I could not agree more. More games later in the day so the US fan base can pick up on them as well. Although saying that Shell Harbour, New South Wales normally pop on and they like the slightly earlier games. So obviously it's always going to be difficult to please the whole world, but we do what we can. Caroline Tertiotti, good luck boys, go El Mianaka. Pedro is on the bench, he is in the stadium. That's well defended, Oganibi coming back, helping out well there. Oganibi, I can remember a new name, Oganibi. Let's go back to Oganibi. Long throw for Medina. Oh, just missed on the cutout there. And it was Luis me trying to cut him through and cut it out, but got it away well. 24 minutes of the game gone already. It's a nice setup. There's a lovely little stadium. Loads of sponsors on the back screen, as you can see. This just looks really good. Jerome Duprez, is Almunaca related to FC Malaga City? It most certainly is. So FC Malaga City Academy has eight teams, of which three of those are the CD Almunaca City team. So if you imagine you've got all these teams and all these players and they want to play in the leagues, you can't have FC Malaga City senior, junior, junior, seniors, A, B, C, D. So eight teams all under the same banner as such and you want to give them competitive football. So Malaga City seniors play in the Malaga, Andalusia Malaga side of things. And we play, and, and we now can play in the Granada uh, leagues. So they kind of split it down, Andalusia splits it down the middle there. And then they play in different, like they, they both play in the uh, Premier and Andalusia, but in the different regions. So, yes, the answer... Well, I should have just gone with yes, really, shouldn't I? Yes, they are fully related, but that's how they've done it. They need to create... It's so popular, is FC Malaga City, that we need more clubs in part, as being part of it. Under the umbrella, the corporate umbrella of FC Malaga City .com. Now, it would be easy if they called them all FC Malaga, but that's not the case. Personally... And I won't have to keep remembering all the way through to Odell. Peterson. He sits at the back of the uh, midfield in front of the back four and really dictates the play well. He was excellent the other week. Back to Odell. Annabelle Trollet go Sachin and team. Sachin is on the bench, he is in the stadium. And Dallas Odell is getting a little bit fiery there, and he's uh, saying, Give me options. And that, personally, is a sign of a really good keeper. Shouts at the players, tells him what he wants all the time, let him know he's there. It's so easy to get bored in goal when nothing's happening. 
So you just got to keep chatting to them all the time. Let them know you're there. Tell them what you want. Tell them where to go. And Ashley Stabley. Let's go, Sachin. So opportunity. This is where Peterson and everything ball into the box. It's Luis Me with the in-swinger. Oh, Montero just didn't get anything on it. Peterson tried to flick it on. Oh, and that's got on the wrong side of Malou. He's got to get back. And that's pressure on Odell. That's well played, though. Luis Me again. Long range. That's good. Oh, I thought Keep was going to clear that. Monfro, his pace, he got there. And Medina do well to, clear, well to clear down the line. Taylor James. It's interesting, Taylor James, because normally I think of him as a, he's played centre back and he's like, he's playing right back. I suppose that's to fit him with Yamaguchi and Borjas. Oh, nice little jump there, Manny. Lewis me. Peterson, oh, first touch wasn't great, and lost it. There we go back. Peterson. Yamaguchi. Inside there, Malou trying to turn his man, Taylor James. Malou. Playing themselves in the corner there, got to get through that press and uh, of lost the ball. That's good pressing from Medina. Long range. They're not, not, not scared or shy of going from long. Medina going wide, Louis Me. Oh, just falling over himself there. That's good chasing, good press in there. From Montero, and he's gone down the line again. Try and get behind, but Medina come across. Defend that rather easily. Looked on. Yamaguchi, get back there, he'll see that out. Usher it out, it's a goal kick. And Shorty Shorty says, oi oi, let's go Peterson. Vamos El Minaka. Made all very comfortable on his feet. I'm going to be doing well there. Nothing wrong with that. Come on. Oh, hello, hello, hello. That was a little bit uh, ferocious. As Richard Cooler comes on board and says, hello from America. That's kind of like, there we go. Just like one as well here. And then ball goes away and oh. Gives him a little kick, put him in the air. Hello from America. Richard, you can be a little bit more precise if you want. You don't have to give the continent. You can actually, like, you know, give us an area. We're quite, we're quite clued up on different parts of the world. Armando Mejia. Very even match. Great to have you on board, Armando. Looking forward to, I believe, it's going to be, your boy's going to be playing on Tuesday, I think. We're going to get you details of those games up on the screen so you can put them in your diary as well. 
But in the meantime, we are looking on there. Yeah, and Richie said, yeah, you know I'm a Tristan Sierra fan, but I like to watch the lads. Yep. Listen, all the club, it's a big family. Let's watch them all. But yep, Tristan's playing Tuesday. <coughs> and here we go. In swing. Back post. It's a free. Oh, I was going to say free header from Taylor James. No, that's a goal. And now they're saying the foul on the keeper. Keeper's there, and he's got a he's got elbows and arms to protect himself. So it's Yamaguchi that the Saint fouled him, but I'm quite sure. I didn't see a lot wrong there. But let's watch it again. Oh, we got a little glitch in the replay system on that one. So we're not going to be watching it again, but to me it was all A-OK. -okay. As Martin Colourfield says, hello from Babani. Or would that be, is it the Silent Bees? Is it Mabani? Um, Babani. I like it anyway, wherever it is. It's got a nice little touch to it, isn't that name? It's in Eswatini. It's in Swaziland. Yes. Oh, well cut out there. Well played. One loop. Didn't quite get it on in the end, but played really well. And the pressure's giving us another throw in so we can keep them up in our attack in third. Long throw. Montero tried to get the flick on. It's back in. Oh. Uh, and I think that was free kick or offside. Offside given. I think it must be offside because the ref pointed the cross there. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with Manfro being all over the player. And don't forget. If you want to be part of this, if you want to be on the silver screen, if you want to be playing football 10 months of the year, if you want UEFA A and pro licensed coaches teaching you, you want to be going to places like Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Seville, Marbella, Granada, Madrid. If you want to go to those places, the place to come is FC Malaga City. And if you want details, it's there on the screen, fcmalagacity.com forward slash apply. Or send an email. It says apply at fcmalagacity.com. And when you do that, you'll get all the details you need so you can be part of what is an amazing academy and an amazing setup. Oh, long range again. There's a lot of long range shots here from Medina. What have they heard? Elias Helper, let's go, Almanaka. Show who's boss, lads. Well, they're trying to do that from 40 yards. Maybe they've been, maybe they've not scored enough goals from 40 yards and they're practicing a lot. Nice touch. Inside now it's Oganubi. Well played. Man throw. He's got the overlapping Taylor James. He doesn't need him, he's gone. Oh, straight to key. Oh, he's fallen. Yeah. I think that was yeah. trying to get in. I think it's Juan Lu trying to get in now, following it up. Did it. And Manfro just goes direct with the shot. And it was Juan Lu just didn't quite get on the end of it. And the captain for the day, Taylor James, is going to go with a long throw. Obviously, the barbers are open in Spain more than they are in the UK because that's a new haircut. Oh, and that's a back header. And another player going to go down because he's hurt his head. I mind that we should take long shots before we might get a little more. We we need what was it? No, is it Luis Me, isn't he? Luis Me who scored that cracker of a free kick. So I'm not was it one loop? Pretty sure it's Luis Me. And so uh, yeah, because he was on that free kick just a minute ago as well. So yeah. And uh yeah, try a few of these from range. Or we get the 40 yard specialist, but Ellie's not allowed to play. She's on the camera. 
the 40 yard scorches for the Feminino. And if you wonder how the camera crew just keep up all this high standard all the time, the answer is Red Bull. There are Red Bulls scattered everywhere. We were talking to Braden in the day, coffees this morning, Red Bull, then another Red Bull. We've just been chatting, there's Red Bull at half time. Richard Cooler, any need for a 55-year-old midfielder? Richard, everybody is welcome. Absolutely everybody's welcome. And look who's looking in. Our man who we interviewed the other week, Mr. LDP himself, Lucas De Paula. Great to have you online watching. I'm so, I'm having a break from training, which when we were chatting sounded like was pretty much all you did. <laughs> But I think I, rumour has it that you're looking for my six-pack, so that's why you keep going all the time. And if you do find it, do let me know. Ball breaks. Sponsor Red Bull. I want to go off to Tenzing. That's an energy drink, Tenzing, because they're all, like, natural rather than chemical. Caffeine. Other energy drinks are available, and we are willing to take their sponsorship. I'll have a word with George. Would you like to be RB FC Malaga City? <laughs> Braden, the best cameraman on in the business from LDP. Well, that, that's saying something. Nicholas Sayfield, oi bruv, let's see some goals, mate. Shout out to Max P. Oh, Braden, we are hearing. He is sponsored by Red Bull. He's got a Red Bull tattoo. We're not going to go where. We've got the lovely Miranda sisters listening and we don't want to corrupt them. We're in a guessing game of where that's going to be. Yamaguchi. Borges. He's gone long. Looking for... Manfro and it's fallen for him and instead of the advantage we come back for a I think that's handball so this will be Luismi with his left foot's going to come and stick that in that gap between yeah here's that man so we're going to have one Lou and Luismi we've got a right left foot option then so it's just going to be the one Luismi is going to go for the in swinger and Griffin May, you're right. Max Peterson pulling the strings in midfield, world class. So, at the moment they're offside, but Medina going to drop quickly. And we're looking for Peterson and Montero. Oh, didn't quite fall in. Morganubi trying to chase it down. And he's done that well. Keep it going. But the referee, oh, a little bit of altercation there. I'm not quite sure what that was all about, but he's saying a bit of pushing and everything going on, but is he saying we are staying with the decision or? And don't forget, we're talking Red Bull sponsoring. We're talking anybody sponsoring. We're always looking for sponsors to be on there. Taylor James, sponsors bring the streams. And streams, sponsors streams means we bring more to you. And today, the game being pushed out by High Mate. You can see in the bottom right there, High Mate, the only wireless 7.5 metre tripod on the market. Highly recommended by Cheers, mate. Louis me chasing that down. Now remember, we had lots of the Feminino games sponsored. You can be a stream sponsor. 
You can be a clock sponsor. You can just have the lower third. We're always looking for you to be sponsoring. And LDP is Braden working today. He certainly is. He's on the camera doing a great job. And that's him on the camera. That's his shot you see in LDP. And Matthew P Paspalis, Holomax, P, Cali representative. Oganubi and Louis Me, making sure that doesn't get taken quickly. So Medina with a chance in the last two and a half minutes. In swinger. Oh, and that's really well played there. That's Peterson. Really good bit of defending there. Could have taken a touch and gone anywhere. Oh, Medina, a little Rabona there. It's gone down the line, a little step over, and that's really good defending. Is that Luismi coming back down the left? He's gone for a goal kick. Miles Hong. How tall, how tall is Max Peterson asking for a friend? Well, I reckon he's about 6'5". He's only 6'2", I hear. He looks taller. It's the way he stands. It's the stature he brings to it. So don't forget details of the Atletico games coming up. We'll bring you that as we get to half time, as well as other sponsors and details about FC Malaga City. We will bring to you. And remember, if you want to sponsor a stream, if you want to. Get your name out there and support Manfro, doing really well there. It's come to him again, he's won the corner. If you want your name out there, if you want to help sponsor the streams, if you want to reach... Oh, where's my little figures here? If you want your name out in... Where are we? 1,607,608 watched minutes of FC Malaga City and Almanaca this year. If you want your name in front of all those people, then get in contact with us and you can have your name on the screen. In swing up just before half time. Oh, missed everybody over the head. Borjas there, she was going for it. And Medina go, and they're one on one at the back. Malou, oh, and it's, it does work well all the way back from to Odell. And that wasn't a back pass, but Odell treats it like that just in case. Let me clear. Extra time, I reckon there'll be a minute. Probably max. It's not official, but I think it'll be probably. Ball over. Uh, Medina didn't know. So, as we come up to the 4.45, I reckon there's going to be an extra one. That's my guess. Medina clear. Upfield, that was our chance to push on rather than let Medina come back at us. Oh, Medina got round the back, but well, Hoist got to be careful there. And they've won the corner. But Hoist says he didn't touch it. He got caught there. And Tertius all camp supporting from Muye Sete. Excellent, Tertius. Part of our South African establishment from Stellenbosch. Oh, and Dallas Odell came again there. Didn't get there, but it was well cleared at the near post. And again from 40 yards. Another effort, and Taylor James clears. That's the one minute of extras that I assumed would play. They, they seem to be targeting Odell. And again. Oh, ooh, that looked a little bit closer. Thought. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the half-time score. As we just see this last little effort there, look at that. All the way over. And it was always safe, but... The scores on the doors at half time. CD Medina Raxa nil. CD Aluminaka City nil. And that's where we stand at the moment. Now, I'm telling you about these games coming up. 
So let me just tell you about these Atletico games. So here we go. These are the details. Coming up, confirming the fixtures. We have the Juvenil of Atletico Madrid versus the under 17s on Tuesday at four o'clock CET, followed by the Femenino, who are taking on Atletico Madrid on 30th at 6.30, 18.30, that's CET. And then, that's not enough. Wednesday, the Juvenil of Atletico Madrid take on the under 19s at 1600 hours, four o'clock. And to top that again, it, oh, it just gets better and better. The Juvenile of Atletico Madrid, I might mention them before, take on the under 18s at six o'clock. And that brings to an end the four games with Atletico Madrid. Madrid have been gagging and going on and on to George about these games. And eventually he said, okay, we'll play you. We're happy to bring you on board. And so that's Tuesday and Wednesday. So do not miss those. You can't be doing anything other than missing those games so make sure you are there for that so half time as the players go into what is a lovely little setup down here so so it makes me think it's gonna be a long half time because they're quite a walk off to where they're going around the back and in the front there so we will pay homage to some sponsors and remember the sponsors are what brings you the streams so looking forward to the next so the second half, I should say. So, we'll be back with you in a minute.
play off. That's a shot away. Oh. It's just another super goal. I cannot believe what I have just seen. Welcome back, everybody. Pitch side. England have won this one 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, have completed the greatest of comebacks. <laughs> Callum Hoover. God break Callum. God break. We're very attacking. I love it. I love watching everybody go forward. We really like possess the ball and find the perfect opportunities to attack and really break down their defense. It just lets us open up the field and create opportunities that are fun for the players and fun for the coaches. Make sure everything that you guys are doing is a positive thing. You don't get on each other. You don't get on your teammates that you don't know. Your body language is huge. Boarding here at the house we have, it's, it's been extremely fun. It's really helped me to grow as a person being in this new environment. Everybody here loves soccer. Everybody loves to play, watch the game as well. From there, it helps you ease into the school environment because now you're around like-minded people. I'm with these guys day in, day out, the same 30 kids I see every day. So we really, we're like a family out there, we're brothers on the field, brothers in the classroom. So I can come up to any of these guys, ask them for help, and they'll help me immediately. There's no hesitation. Like, we're all really connected here, which is awesome. We're all brothers. Here at the academy, I like how you can go at your own pace for the education. Compared to public schools, you just go at the pace that the teacher sets, even if it isn't the right pace for you. But here, I can go at the pace that's perfect for myself. Being at Malaga really shapes my life's actions, and that's something I wouldn't learn anywhere else, and I'm really going to be in good shape for the rest of my life. We're going to go to Europe and get experiencing as the best players on the planet, which are European players. And <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm psyched for it. And the education in Spain is going to be great as well. They're going to be taking a Spanish culture class and also the Spanish language. This program is awesome. It is what any soccer player could possibly dream of in this country. And more people should be able to enjoy this experience that we have.
Yeah, so so in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England, and um, you know, I think it's been been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now our, our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night. Um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United, and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night. So you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort, and I can't thank the staff enough. You know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been absolute, absolute trooper. You know, and I think everyone's really dug in, and it shows kind of what this project's about. That it's, it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that uh, are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help me in everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, what to do and what not to do. And to be honest, I've become such a better player since I've arrived. If I had to describe football in one word, I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how, how much it means to me and it, everything revolves around it. And it's just all I have, and it's all I'm going to have, and it's all I want to do for the rest of my life. I would say life, because I feel like my life moves around football, and it's just, I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football, and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's given me the ability to play, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I have to keep working hard training, and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it. I just like playing. I love uh, the game, especially Spanish football. Ah, for me, it's like, it's my life. This is my life. I think I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even Buenos dias, buenas noches, welcome back. We are ready to go for the second half. Looking to some goals this second half. That's what we want. And Estela Arias at halftime said, "Results, please." Uh, from what? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to ask me. I mean, if it's the, if it's the lottery, it doesn't get drawn yet. But the more, the better. More information, the better, please. And Griffin May, quite the effort from outside. That's outside the box, yes. Quite a lot of efforts. And that one just before half time. I think Dallas had that completely covered, though. Medina, good press in there, early doors. Flicking Oganobi. So there's been no changes at half time that we have been made aware of. No changes that we know of. But we suddenly see a. a a, a, a stray number coming up, then I'll let you know. Oh, good effort, Montero. Well played. Keeps done well there, making sure he goes completely away from the box. There's Montero. Zach Matic, his baby feet to silver in. Not yet, Zach. Give him time. They'll be coming on. Big height ball in there. Oh, Peterson with a free header, and it didn't go goalward. Peterson. Your social media following will be very disappointed. Keeper goes early. Medina, they're through, but that's good running from down behind Bojas. And he gets it back from Peterson. Oganubi. Oh, a good ball down the line. Montero's done really well coming in. Now Malou, this is a really good move. Oh, and he did get the ball. But the ref said a little bit more than just the ball. Yeah. 
And there's a yellow card for the two. Might be a bit two feet in it, maybe or something like that. Let's have a look. No. Well, I thought it looked all right myself, personally. And, but if, if he's booked in, then where's the, oh, it must have been for dissent due to the fact that we didn't get a free kick. And then that was a waste of a good advantage there. Max P's got them on the back foot. Well, he needs to head it towards goal, and that put them more on the back foot. Medina trying to get the ball in behind Luis Me, but covers it well and clears well. You know what you get with Luis Me every week, really steady, really solid. And caught, score some really cracking free kicks. Well, there he comes, breaks again there. Uh, the ball doesn't find him again, but he's there pressing. And Medina go all the way back to the keeper. through didn't come but still cleared and yeah, gives an opportunity to mention our four main pillar partners Mue Sete La Nahara Hotel and Costa Sur Bus and the Box Noha Cross Train Inn. So one feeds us, one houses us, one gets us everywhere and one makes sure that we're fit enough to be playing the game and eating at the restaurants and sleeping that night. So big shout out to those four partners there and just a big shout out as well. Remember, it's on the screen. FCMalagaCity.com. Apply or email at apply or email apply at fcmalagacity.com. So if you're coming to Malaga in the near different in the near future, remember we can arrange somewhere for you to eat, sleep, train, and your transport. We are the one-stop shop for all your tourist needs. And Makioba, let's go see that representing Max P. Fan base in the USA. Max P is going to win the man of the match today when that poll goes out. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it at the moment, but he's got all the fans. Although Sachin and Pedro, if they get on, they got a big social media presence. Malou trying to chase it down. Good pressure. And the other fifth big partner in all this is obviously us. Cheers, mate. You'll see us in the top right there. Bringing you these games. As many as we can. Working hand in hand with FC Malaga City to bring you as many streams and as much exposure for these players as we can. I say about games like today at the moment, they say it's one for the purists, don't they? As in, if you really, in oh, what was that for, ref? Really? Stop me in my spiel, ref. Definitely not a free kick. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with you, Mr. Juan Lu. Nothing in that, but chance for Medina. A bit higher line here than it's a big hole behind for Dallas. Odell to fill. And 
And they did get it on the end of it, but nothing came from it. Good ball from Malou. Montero comes inside. Manfro, there's the header from. Oh, that was one Lou pushing through all the way again. Didn't quite make the most of it when he got on the end of it. Good run by Manfro. Oh, Montero's offside, so he couldn't go to him. And just run into the Medina back line. And as you can see, We've got a pole, but there's a one missing off there. It's 16 minutes to the pole. We start at about 70 minutes. So, how tight it might be. Will Sachin De Silva, will Pedro Tercietti, will their social media be up and run? Medina pushing through to Paracuilla. Let's go, Malou. Running down the line. That's really good defending. Well across there, Luis Me Covered that really well. Dale there once again was he had a problem there it looked like it was going to just rub out of his grasp see the flick across there and there oh heart in mouth Dallas back Dallas with a big clearance now one Lou he's looking for the runner nice play with Malou can he keep it in he can pushes forward just drive at these players Montero Monfro keep it in he has and he's won the throw in it's good pressure Medina stepped off the gas at the moment And remember, it's always going to be our fitness always comes to the fore. In the last 20 minutes, our fitness won't wane, but oppositions do. And Peterson missed the flick on. Medina come again, all through the middle. And Odell's come, and he's done really well collecting that. And you've had a few shaky bits in the goal there. You always feel, shall I still come? Your confidence takes a little bit of a knock, but Odor wasn't showing any of that then. Montero chasing. Oh, he's done well to get on the end of that. Both players pressure him now. We might get a throwing out of it. Oh, he's we might have got more. Won the ball back. Hoof it upfield. 
And we've got a substitution coming on. And Pedro Tercietti is getting ready. Is coming on. And who's going to be coming off? I think Pedro's going to be... And, and Manuel Oganubi. There we are. Pedro Tercietti has come on for Emmanuel Oganubi. So he will sit. I would imagine in front of Max Peterson because he'd be attacking midfield and he's on the ball already. All over. And the... Social media is going to light up. Nicholas Seyfield, let's go, Pedro. Andres, vamos, Pedro. Student American power, South American power. Oh, it's gone back and we've given away a corner there. Don't forget to put in your diary. Tuesday starts at 4 o'clock Central European time. Double header, 17s and Feminino, and then the 18s and 19s on Wednesday. In swing near post. Oda comes. I don't know if he did get to that or not. But it, I tell you something, it's all right moaning at the keeper at the front post there, but players have got to hit that first ball in there. That ball shouldn't be coming anywhere near the keeper at the near post. Defenders have got to take that out. <laughs> Griffin May said did well to get his glove behind that. He did, but he was made to struggle massively because players aren't cutting out that near post ball. So, last half hour of the game, that's 60 minutes, the first hour is all done. Oh, Montero can get through there and I think he thought he was fouled there. I thought he just ran into the back of the Medina player myself. And Tershotti there not finding another blue shirt. And Medina coming through, but that's going to be heavy ball. And Odell picks it up and very quickly goes out to Taylor James. And one Lou not able to get a touch to it. It's a free kick against Tershiotti. I didn't see anything wrong with it. And the ref is coming across. Probably going to have a word with coaches. He's booking a coach. This is quite normal. Oh, a Malaga coach. This is very unusual. Juan Carlos Anon, I think, is being got the yellow card there for... Don't think it was for moaning. I'm sure it's not for moaning. So maybe he's moaning about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's a foul, actually. Griffin, mate, come on, ref. Yeah, come on. So Medina get a chance to go again as children in the background start kicking the one on the floor. <laughs> All playful. Peterson clears the danger. Montero chasing it down. He doesn't stop running, does oh man. Montero. Sometimes it's like a just lone pharaohs he ploughs because he's not getting the support he should do. I'd be pleased to know all the children that were being were playing and they're all up on their feet. <laughs> retrieving the ball back now. 
LDP, come on, Pedro and Juliano. We need to party tonight. You're going to party like it's 1999, Brazilian style. Craig Peterson, keep it up, Max. Good clearance. We'll be running that one down on that occasion. It's gone wide. Taylor James. Good running by Manfro. He's done well there. And one Lou goes in and it kind of was a double footed challenge, but it had already been made place and one Lou came in. I think I'm gonna put the ball out because if he's still on the floor, and he is. He hasn't been moving a lot, which is always a tad worrying. Now he seems okay. Just a really hard challenge. Could argue it was two-footed, but I think it was a hard and fair. And he's also at his elbow. A little bit of treatment there, get the blood off. And he's going, that hurts, it stings. Did you put the TCP in it? Rub the, put the uh, deep heat on it now. <laughs> we go long. Montero chases it down. If we get a goal in this, it's gonna come out of the blue. My, my 7.2 seconds record for goal it's not going to be tested my producer did say to me this has got nil nil all over it but so if they both get a point each they're still a point behind each other but the goals per game differs again so i wonder if they sort places So the, the more games you play, your average is going to go down. Medina get to the back and waste that, that. So the more games you play, your average is going to go down. All right, so just need a calculator, really. So they've got 26, and you've got to divide that by 17, and you get 1.53. And they've got 27, divide that by 19 comes 1.42. So I reckon it stays as it is, first and second still. So that's my rough estimation, my rough estimation of the uh, roughly what it means. Pretty impressive that one, eh? It's like I read it off a map or something. Griffin May, no extra time, no. And the way it's going, I wouldn't normally say this. Thankfully not. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's get it going. Oh, that's a nice play. That's really well played there, just that last touch. Ball was heavy, last touch, it's really well played. At the moment, we're not creating any chances, and defensively, apart from corners, we're really, really solid as we give away a corner. Flicking in, it's going long. That's cleared well by a combination of Peterson and James. And Tershiotti is keeping him out there, and he's won the goal kick. Well played, Pedro. Nick Hubachek, best commentator I've ever heard. Ugh, oh, Nick, you speak so wisely. My producer's just told me you've only ever heard one commentator. I know that you listen to games constantly, day in, day out. Assessing, you're a connoisseur. You're in the sommelier of commentators. <laughs> oh, that was Mr. Tertiotti. That was straight at a white shirt. I know it's got dark out there, but 
That's good pressure. Now Manfro coming away. It's just the options up front, aren't they? We need players running in behind. Got Mulu at the back post. He's gone direct. Oh, good save by the keeper. Well played. And it's still in there. Come on, somebody chase it down. Tershiotti's getting in there. Matthew Paspalis is laughing at that effort, they can say. Oh, he's kept it in, Medina there. Well done. Just turn and... That's got an air hostess on it, that one. And Zipporah Kawia. Indeed, he is the best. Oh, I'm blushing. This is a good effort, this, because he had no really options on there. Keeper's done really well. I see he's making a change shortly. I'm not going to say he's going to come off because I can never do that bit. But I think a, the silver on this pitch would be good. And I'll tell you something, Sterling Watlin. Watlin would be good. You've got Carlson, but unless we start supplying the ball in the middle there, I don't see Carlson coming on. Oh, Manfro. He's done really well controlled that. He's coming. He's got three, three at the back post. Back post. Oh, goal! Julian Manfro, what a shot. What was the matter with the back post? You don't need the back post with a shot like that. What a corker. Absolute stunner. Absolute cracker. Shorty, shorty, I feel now I mean like a goal coming. What I say? You were right. Let's go. You called it, man. Matthew Paspel is banger. Great celebration there. So, what a great goal. We will try and get that to you later or on the highlights because we had a little gremlin again in the system that picked up that. But don't worry. Lucas Ban, Bond, respect the Brazilian player. There is Julian Manfro. What an absolute corker. Nicholas Seifert is now glued to the seat. And Mr. Kawia is clapping. Five stars. Five from LDP. Doesn't get better than that. 20 minutes to hold on and build on it. Massa Peterson, keep it together now, boys. Let's get another. There we go again. Medina will build from the back. Carolina Tersciotti. All down the back. And remember, if you want to be scoring goals like that for FC Malaga City next year, if you want to be out here, training six days a week fcmalagacity.com forward slash apply go on there and get all the details because that's where you need to go if you want to be part of what is the United Nations of Academies you meet people from all over the world it's an experience they say in Brazil that who scores kiss on the night <laughs> oh LDP I really don't know where we're going with this. And uh, I didn't see, I can't see that is this down, but nobody seems to be too bothered. Linesman, ref, and, and the Medina player, so look, he's off the pitch. Where's the problem? So he, he's getting up and getting onto the pitch, and the ref says, play on. Pedro, well played. Who 
Peterson pressing high. Malou coming out wide. He's done well there. Uh, he's done well, really well played. Malou. Well in. This is good defending on the edge. I think it's just crosses we've got to be careful of. Medina happily playing it around. To over the back. Oh, that's really good defending. Luismi just gets enough on it. And Jim Best is tuning in to see her homeboy, Max Peterson, go hard. Remember, we're in California, we're in Kenya, we're in Braddon, Florida, we're in New York, we're in Japan, we're in Eswatini, and there again, near post. And that one we got away, and that's what we should be doing, is clearing those near post. But once again, it just looked panicky. And Daniel Kimoli says, Mulu strength. Oh, loads of space out there, get out there, cutting down. Wolves coming across. Oh, and it's really good defending that. And all the way through to Odell. And that was Raya Yamaguchi with a really, really good block. And Lou got out there quickly, but this was the block. Yeah, really well played, Yamaguchi. And then through safely to Odell. And the Medina player is down with a bit of cramp. And they're also going to be making a substitution. No, it's not. They're bringing on a... Is it making a sub? And... And Tavares Carlson is coming on. Is it going to be a sweet, straight swap with Montero? Is he going to be coming back on? What's happening? Is, was he just off for a rest? Toilet break? Comfort break? Was he hungry? What is it? I mean, like... You can't just need a rest. We've got enough subs on the bench. He doesn't have come on and off, surely. But anyway, who's coming off there? Well, Carlson's coming on there, and it looks like a swap for... That's one Lou. So the first substitution is Tobias Carlson on for one Lou. So is Tobias Carlson going to go up front? No, he looks like he's dropping in. But Deba... And another sub. Oganubi. Looks like he came. Let's see. It says Malou that's come off for Oganubi. So. That's a weird one because. Does Carlson get the yellow card for that? Early doors. Straight on the pitch, and he gets a yellow. Tobias Carlson hasn't touched the ball yet, but he's already got a, a Christmas card. Lucas Bond, Juliano Galtro, the Brazilian legend. Carolina Tessio to go, Pedro! Ball over the back and deep. Oh, man throw there. That looked a little damn ballish. And an attempt from the edge goes well wide. It looked like there was a hand in there as that was brought down by Manfro. And now we're having another sub, I think. Oh, yeah, nothing you could do about that, though. Just bounced against, and it was his body. So Oganubi is back on. Eric Malou is off. Big and deep. So Carlson is, we still got Montero up front and Carlson's dropped into midfield. I'm no coach, but you've got the likes of Sterling Watron in Madrid and Sachin de Silva. You would have thought you might have um, put one of those on in midfield, but because Carlson, you would have think is your, is your front runner. Oh, and Oganubi is put in Medina. And that's well back, just got to be careful there. And that's come through. Oh, and I thought Odell was going to come. That's Rick Yamaguchi. Exceptional defending again. Well played, Wow, Yamaguchi. That guy's as solid as the Rock of Gibraltar. Where they're all 100% vaccinated nowadays. 
Yeah, it's really well done. First country in the world to be 100% vaccinated. And you get little snippets like that as well at the same time. And then took the corner early. And that was a somewhat different kind of clearance. And near post, that was well cleared that time. And they come again. Carlson. Carlson filling in the midfield. Elias Halpern, thank you. It was well said. <laughs> oh, opportunity. Oh, that's really... Oh, it's come through again. Oh, it's in. And I was saying about how strong our defending is, but... Medina are jumping up and down on that one. And that was just five minutes after the opener. Cleared there and came back in over the top. That's a good header from Yamaguchi. This was well played by them, but between Taylor James, it was just a lucky bounce. Lucky bounce. Griffin May says, oh golly. Now we've got to step it up. Now we bring on those young runners and push Carlson further forward as a possibility. Oganubi chasing it down well. And he gets done there. I don't know what's that for. Just a foul, they're saying. Medina, happy to take their time. Ball forward and through. Medina building from the back. Well, oh, Oganubi in well there. Ref said he was happy with it. Tersiotti. Tersiotti chased it down. And a free kick, and that's a yellow card for Oganubi. Has he already, did he get a yellow earlier? No, it wasn't him, it was somebody else. It's Carlson got one just a minute ago. So, Emmanuel Oganubi suddenly has picked up a yellow. Didn't think there was a lot in it myself. Let's see. Uh, Elbow didn't get low, fair point. Nicholas Seyfield says, get that man an Oscar. Ah, oh, now substitute. Oh, who are we booking now? We're booking the coach again, but he's already been booked once. No, he's now booking, is he booking one Lou? Oh, wow, man, Sachin's coming on, but in the meantime, there's cards going around everywhere. He's booked, he's booked Rafa, the coach. So both coaches have been booked. So one lose coming back on for Joe Montero. And Sachin is Manuel, who's just been on. He's only been on two minutes. Well, I think what it was is... Shorty, shorty, says the ref is all over the place. Well, we're not there really. We can't hear exactly what's being told from the bench. That's what that's all about. So, our man from Eswatini, Sachin De Silva. Now, we put SWZ, and you could argue it should be EST, but under the Olympic code, it still says SWZ for Swaziland which Eswatini used to be. A little kingdom in uh, South Africa. And remember, 
Now you can vote for your man of the match. There is the link on your screen. You've got it in Spanish, you've got it in Portuguese, you've got it in English. Click on that and vote for your man of the match, who you think is going to be there. We'd love to hear from you. Want to know what you think? Oh, good early chance. Oh, back post, Sachin de Silva. He's, he's got the feet. That's a nice, good ball across. Ball down well. Juan Lu just couldn't get enough on it. Oh, that might have been a bit late. But Medina still got the ball. No, cut out and the ref's gone back for it. Yeah, a bit late on there as T.S. Allison says, Matt Peterson looking absolute unit out there. Sachin did really well here. That's a good ball in. And it was just when it, Juan Lu couldn't bring it down as it came out. It was this one here. It was just caught late. Martin Colafell, Sachin! Oh, Louis me, unlucky. Sachin. Juan Lu. Got to be careful. Don't think you were booked, but you were standing near the yellow card when it was given. Difficult to tell a lot of the times. Six minutes to go. Six minutes to find a winner. Pretty sure it will be. We did concede really late against Zubia last week. But let's hope so. So Carlson has pushed forward more. It's just one Lou and Toshedi and Peterson doing the work in the middle. And De Silva is one side, Manfro the other. Well played Manfro. He's been running non-stop and scored a sc scorcher, corker of a goal. Picked in Taylor James from try and turn. Taylor James from Hartford, I don't know that because he has a lot of family commenting on the game, but they've gone quiet today. And it goes, Medina will go and build again. We're chasing the ball at the moment. Looks like we don't have the shape because we're chasing it. We've got to hold our shape, Yamaguchi. Like it now, De Silva inside nicely. Juan Lu and he's, oh, that would have been nice back to there. To Shotty. Peterson, sorry, the Peterson. He's got to Shotty there. Here's Pedro to Shoddy. Yeah, the Taylor James. Peterson really does pull the strings in there. Nice little ball over top. That's nice. Can Sachin keep it in? Ah, oh, just too heavy. Elias Halpern. Let's go, boys. Come on. Last four minute push. Matthew Paspalis. Cheeky blue 14. Mr. Max Peterson. Once again, Peterson in there, first time. Yamaguchi. Taylor James, he's going all the way back to Odell. Rohis. Oh, oh, just behind Louis Me. I'm going to have a little bit of extras, I think, with a couple of injuries based on the first half. I think it'll be. Two, three, coaches booked, substitutions made. We'll go three, four. Oh, Silva played well there. Don't forget if you want to vote for your man of the match. We'll get the links on the screen again for you. And Peterson saying, what's that all about? Yeah, Tershiotti just pulled all over the place there. There are your links. Click on that link. And you can then vote for your man of the match. Let us know who you think is deserving. Carlson. That's oh, well played. Oh, he's gone direct right into the side net. And that's a little bit adventurous from out there, but we've already seen one go in from out there. 
a little bit more direct. That's what we need, run at them. He was knocking them in for fun at the right, the very beginning of the season. But not so many since then. Griffin, ambitious. A little bit of an understatement. Speculative, I would think. Ambitious would probably be all right, yeah. Louis me will try and take it forward again as we go the last two minutes. And we go up again. And go back to the keeper. Remember to never miss out on a game. Subscribe to the channel. And if you want other people to see the games, like the games. Give a little thumbs up on it on your YouTube, and that means that other people, YouTube push it, and other people get to see and enjoy what you've been enjoying. And don't forget your man of the match. The option is there. Just click on that on your screen, and you can go and vote for your man of the, man of the match. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it, Matthew Paspalis? If you get it in that side goal, direct, half a point. Bring the entertainment value up a little bit. Carlson looking wide, Manfro, he took that down really well. Comes inside, it's a good run, he needs another runner. Oh, he's seen the run of Taylor James really well. He's got players in the box, Taylor James need a good ball, and that is one. There's the winner! Oh, one loo! One loo! Now you've got cramp. Oh. As I said, there's the winner. Just possibly a tad too early. Oh, what a ball. That's an amazing ball. Really good quality. And this is a great ball from Taylor James. Really well played. And there's one loop. There's the winner. Oh, just goes wide. Nearly there. Shorty, shorty says great play it was. We come up to the last 20 seconds of regular time. And extras, we're gonna go, we're gonna guess at four. So we were at this four minutes of extras, or was that the one chance? You got two minutes to vote for your man of the match. Just follow the link, let's hear who you think. A little bit of defending the D first. Taylor James, don't let him get round. Careful. It's come all the way through. Oh. Got to stand tall on that. They've still got a corner. And these are the bits where really I have to look away. No, I have to watch. But uh, it's very nerve wracking. And that was off Odell. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in. And I said I have to look away on the corners. And in the last few kicks of the game, it's gone in. It's come from a corner again. Players are appealing to the ref. That was a foul on the keeper. But we've... Oh, I kind of said it. It wasn't the commentator's curse, but... And so it came together. Oh, I like the celebration. You see it here. Just near post, Odell comes, misses, and it hits 23, and in the back of the net it goes. And that, I reckon, is going to be the full-time score. Just hit the back there. We've got, we've got two minutes to get back into it. It's just got to go hell for leather forward. So we're going long. And we've hit our man, and it's fallen. Oh, I thought it was going to fall for Sachin De Silva there. And Medina, clear, no, they keep it in. And he's won the free kick. Right, you've got time to take it, so don't worry. Get Mr. Luis Me over there with his left foot. Get everybody up. Tobias, leave it. Luis Me, swing it in. Yeah, there's the free kick. The poll closes, vote for your man of the match. And we can call it null and void if we get a winner from this last one, because I'll call it. So it's Tobias Carlson. 
I can't see that he fancies a shot from there. I, I think he's going for a shot, because otherwise, why is not the forward, why is the striker not in the box? Here we go. Oh, you've got to beat the first man. Got to beat the first man. And it's cleared. We am going to get back out there. Push him back in. And Rash Akhavi, let's go, boys. Come on, push it up. Going in, look for the flick on. Oh, just pushing the back there, but still with us. Oh, well played. Pedro Toschetti, but he can't win the ball. And Medina, they go long and clear. They're one on one. Kenny look for his man, but Yamaguchi is getting back there. And Luis Me, the ball's going into the corner. Tobias Carlson, got to be careful, you're on a yellow. And that's a Medina ball, and that's going to signal probably the end of the game. So, who is your man of the match? Who's my man of the match? That's a very good question. I think Manfro has won it with that goal, and he's been non-stop running. He's really well played, but what have you, more importantly, what are you telling us? All they're telling us, you could definitely have picked up for a foul throw there, and it's a corner, which is the worst result we could, we could ask for, but no, what's... Yeah, there is time for the corner. The pole has now been closed, and so the man of the match is going to be announced at the final whistle. So we'll have the final whistle, and then we'll have the announcements and oh and that's a goal kick no nope. and that ladies and gentlemen is full time and the scores on the doors cd medina luxa two cd alminaka city one and a 90th minute in 78 the last 12 minutes it went down here it was looking great at 70 where we thought we were going to be holding on and it was coming together but first versus second I think we still stay first and there is the result of our man of the match and Max the main man Max Peterson has won with 18 votes he is the crowd man of the match there is the man himself he's won the man of the match award I think he won the social media vote, that's what it all is, but the six foot two, we know that. With all these mates watching, Max Peterson, well done. Great stuff. So, that is the final that we have here. Thank you from around the world for being on our stream today. We have been in California. We have been in Kenya. We've been watched in Florida, in New York, in Japan, in Eswatini in brazil absolutely everywhere so a big thank you to all of you for watching and don't forget we are back on tuesday it's the big one it's the under 17s and the feminino on tuesday against atletico madrid and on wednesday it's the 18 and the 19 so thank you to everyone who's participating and joined us today as samir said Lilani says, hard luck, boys. Elias says, great effort, Albinaki. Great job, commentator. Thank you. Thank you for being on with us today. We look forward to seeing you Tuesday. There are going to be some cracking games. Lovely stadium, lovely setup, lovely scenery. It's all going to be happening on Tuesday and Wednesday. So see you for that. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today and catch you soon.
Coming from a public school, the biggest difference is we're like a family out there, we're brothers on the field, brothers in the classrooms. Here at the academy, I like how you can go at your own pace for the education. Coming from private school to a soccer-specific academy, the soccer focus is out of this world. It helps you ease into the school environment because now you're around like-minded people. My experiences have been extraordinary. England have won this one, 22 points to six. Electric out the blocks. Oh, they have completed the greatest of comebacks. Callum oh. <laughs> Hoover, God break Callum. The 2018 champions, the London Monarchs.